evening and welcome to some more tactic bollocks. Um, right, I did an open request. I basically said um, to people on Twitter, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you probably want to actually because that's where I am I'm most active. If you tweet me, I will probably tweet you back. Um, well, I'll do it more than I have been. I've got, <laughs> do you know what? It's funny. I actually did not realize that if you tweet once, uh, or twice or three times or whatever, I thought they just start spamming out. So people who are following me start to see this spewing of tweets. I didn't realize actually you have to search for them. So I'm going to start using Twitter a lot more. But I read Twitter. I read everything people send me. And um, I got sent this. This is uh, two really good tweets. And I think we're going to talk about both of them. I said, hey, dudes, give me some ideas for what people want to know or talk about in uh, these videos. And I thought that's really two very good questions. So we're going to talk about them. Now, I promised the talk on bounties for some time. So we'll do that one first. This is from Yadek. Yadek? Yadek? I always get those wrong. I do apologize if I got that wrong. Um, just an absolutely top bro. Incredibly active in the community. Um, selflessly involved, I would say, as well. And I don't, I don't mean that though, Troll. I mean, he is actually pretty, he's prolifically posting challenges and fun things to do. So I, I give him absolute respect because he really is, he's trying to do, I guess, what we do, which is just, I guess, incite the desire to play in people. And that can only ever be a good thing. A lot of people talk grand visions and statements about what they would do, blah, blah. Not many people are there actually saying, well, yeah, that's all very good. But hey, have you tried kind of using a Nova knife and sticking it in a tank's tracks and see if you could make the thing stop? Uh, you know, that's that's what's needed more so. Um, it's it's not an engine of ego. And I quite like that. Anyway, the, enough talk, less bollocks. Let's talk about it. He um, in the link in the description for this video is a link. Go and have a look at it. And this is about bounties. And I've talked about bounties for some time. Um, and I think really this is just because I'm kind of saying, well, the, you know, the ISK we've got isn't going to Legion. That's pretty much a given. And um, people obviously want money. So I thought I'd make this interesting. And I think we're going to make it, um, we're going to make it very interesting. If you Flaylock kill me, then you have to use a Flaylock. And I will accept only, only, well, no, any Flaylock, right? Fine, any Flaylock. If you manage to Flaylock kill me, I will give you 10 million ISK once per round you can't kill me 10 times with a flare locking expect to get 100 million i ain't that rich bro um but there we go so if you see me in a match and you see me doing my usual plasma cannon bollocks like that running around a corner hoping someone's about to follow me and they don't uh then yeah give me a give me a shout you have to obviously claim it so if you do it but then you sit there waiting for your wallet to flash and nothing happens then tra -la 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 -la, because you have to actually claim it okay if you try and claim that you killed me and yet you, uh, you didn't then i will name and shame you and i will make your life living hell i record every match i do so don't come at me bros um or rather come at me have fun so there we go i'm gonna do that and i think uh you know i i'm i'm gonna push others to do the same as well so i think you know other you know kind of people of the game should look to maybe make the game a bit more interesting for people so if you see me in a squad in a gang um doesn't work on fw if you blue kill me doesn't work on uh well i guess that's it <laughs> you have to be on the enemy team and you have to kill me with a flaylock okay uh so that's it i'll give you 10 million isk simple as that uh and i hope that's fun now check out the thread because jadex actually done loads um, of different bounties as well. Um, obviously, you could come try and kill the uh, proclaimed Lord of Dust, myself, um, or you can go for many other people. So I think certainly give it a check. It's actually very much worth a read. Um, bounties to me is something that should have been in this game from the get-go. That ability just to put isk on a player and have that be claimed is good. Now, I know obviously that's just massively open to fraud, but I don't know. It would have been fun. I think maybe that's the way to think of it, is that it would have been actually quite fun to have a bounty. I think, you know, personally, I would have loved to have a bounty uh, system. And I, I wouldn't have claimed it myself. But again, that's the problem. You can never actually claim it. Um, uh, you know, you never, you can never ensure that no corruption takes place. And that's why, unfortunately, we can't have nice things because fuckers mess with it and they ruin it. So, <laughs> sadly, we can't have nice things around here. We um, We end up with destroyed concepts because people can't be trusted so there we go anyway so bounties is something we're going to start looking at they are unofficial so you do have to again claim it as i said um but yeah give it a go and come flaylock me bro i am the king of flaylocks i am the lord of dust come at me 
on to the next <laughs> on to the next tweet um hake yo or hack you hack you hake yo i'm so sorry i'm not very good at this um discuss how eve players will react to dust players on legion really good point let's see what let's 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 go wibbly wobbly effect forward into the future and let's let's predict what would happen with um legion because there's going to be quite a lot of difference in legion um let's just look at them very you know quickly and critically number one you're going to have a lot more people playing legion because it's just going to be free to play on a pc and loads of people play that you're going to have everybody in eve try it so you're going to have everybody in eve who most people who play eve are generally quite power gamey they're kind of they're people who power game and they're people who also i would like to remind you perfect game so they try and perfect their game um and this is also interesting as well as well so that means obviously there's going to be quite a a group of players who are going to really go at this so i think while a lot of players are very good at this game in the piece ps3 rather in its current guise i think they're going to be surprised actually at the viciousness of other groups as they go at them you're going to find that most people who play eve also play first person shooters that is a given that is a given okay i mean you could probably say 90 percent probably will have played or will play or do play a first person shooter you build that ip into a free-to-play game linked to eve people would be all over that so that's point one concluded lots more players point two and this is that this is quite an important one the cultures of this game dust are going to get stomped to shit when you look at the way cpm1 nominees have acted to certain you know feedback and comments and criticism they have nerd raged okay now people kind of don't like the fact that i'm quite trolly and i'm quite ugh, you know i mean i'm in people's faces at times and then i'm quite i'm quite smug and arrogant in others you know i i, I you know it's the way i am and this has become i come from a tradition of goon swarm and uh, unfortunately that is what you get used to now unfortunately this does this is something that you really need to factor in because the cultures of that are dominant in eve when they see how much people nerd rage and how certain you know people a lot of them going for cpm1 i might add act when you know things are seen as unjust and unfair and that's not very nice and oh my god lol you can't say that they're gonna get ripped to pieces it's like it's like ned's flanders kids you know those two kind of really decent good kind of honest lovely kids imagine them going to a kind of you know a downtown school projects kind of school i mean it's like that literally they're gonna walk into a shitstorm <laughs> and they're gonna be eaten alive and those i mean dark star army and, and the unholy legion have been prepared for this because we you know we're not very active either i might admit at the moment but i will tell you one thing we have come from this culture that is prevalent in eve a lot of people think they're going to bring that with them but you know like dust uni is a good example because they've got eve uni but eve uni is like uh born again christians seriously they're really it's like literally the mormons um, and they're going to get eaten alive as well. So <laughs> quite frankly, it's going to get messy. And I think, you know, while a lot of people just disregard this, quite frankly, culture wars are actually the, the only thing that keep Eve going at the moment. And I honestly think that, you know, as point two concludes, the culture wars that will come from Eve players logging into Legion and seeing this group of massively entitled douchebags who think that you know they are the the authority on this game and the electronic sports leagues and things they're gonna get the shit stumped out of them by people who quite frankly would just love to see them rage anything in this game that makes you rage post on the forum or write walls of text on the forum you're losing the game when you do that you don't realize you're being you're being wound up you're being got at you're being trolled and anything that makes these you know, and those kind of people are not going to last five minutes in legion because unfortunately the power blocks will spam legion and they will dominate it from the start and i think that's probably, again probably worth noting <laughs> because i think to be honest maybe people have not figured that out quite yet but there we go it's going to be a very very interesting transition amazingly interesting transition because i think quite frankly a lot of players are gonna be culture shocked with what eve and legion will bring you're gonna see a massive amount of quote ganking rage you're going to see a mat I mean, at the moment dust is remarkably fair as a game because you can't really be kind of tricked or metagamed that easily 
when you see the way Eve players treat Eve players and when you see how people respond to pubby rages that so many of these this community does and the forums for this game oh my god those people they're in for a treat because they're just making themselves targets targets number one and I think just you know the thought of watching them rage and write 20 pages of, of posts about how factually wrong and incorrect they are oh my god I can see now that it's just going to be fapped over like never before Anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Interesting insight. I hope you'll agree. Post in the comments if you disagree. Post in the comments if you have another view on this. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.